with this program. We get contact, make contact with the different seed companies. I send out a letter in January, so they submit their entries, whether it's a, a grasses or legumes, or whatever uh, species they have that they want to enter. Then I combine all those, you know, into the specific, you know, variety of trials that, that I'm interested in. The way they're set up, look at here behind me, you can see the plots, you know, five foot wide by 20 foot long is what we plant. Then there's a border that's planted crossways in between the reps. So basically the 15 feet of the plot is what is, what is harvested. The cedar is seven rows, seven inches apart. So technically that's 49 inch uh, plot. There's a space in between. If you can see the space in between the plots here to my, to my left, you know, there's a, a spot there that shows so we can, it makes it, we need, need that so when we harvest, we can actually see the, the difference from, from one plot to the next to make sure we're in the, in the right place. So I do the alfalfa, red clover, white clover, all the different cool season grasses. We also do the, uh, the summer annuals, the uh, sorghum, sorghum sedan grass, forage sorghum, pearl millet, teff, crabgrass. So we do a number of, of different things. We've also started some where we've done do the, the uh, cereals, the, the winter cereals for so the rye and wheat, triticale, do a spring trial with oats, and then we may throw a, a, a winter wheat in there just to show what's, what doesn't work. 20 feet long is what, what we have. We have four replica replications for, for each variety. So we set up a, set up a packet and uh, you know, put in the cedar. Just to show a little bit about the actual seeding of the plots, as I mentioned, we had four replications. So as we go through the field, each plot we come to is a different variety. So the envelopes are set up, got four, four envelopes. Each one will have a different variety in them. So I would open the packet up, dump the seed in here, trip it, it goes into this cone. This cone goes around once in 20 feet. So while this one is being planted, I reach over and get the next one and dump it in. When we get to the appropriate spot, I will, I will dump that. So that way, each, each variety is in its uh, appropriate. So the, the amount of seed that I need to plant in 20 feet is weighed into the packet that gets dumped in and planted for that. It's cone seeder then and gets, distributes the seed within the seven rows that, that we're planting. What we should see here is a handheld computer that when I get the weight in the hopper, as you see the uh, material in the hopper, it gets a weight, it re records that onto this handheld, can enter that data, and then for each plot I would get a, a value. And then once I get back to the, uh, the office, and I can plug this into the, my personal computer, download that information, and do the calculation from there. So for the different harvests throughout the year, then they get entered into a, a table and do the calculation to get the, uh, the total yield.